welcome to another edition of um I'm, I'm not I don't remember what I'm doing how do I upgrade virtual pinball because V pin workshop says I need to upgrade to 10.8 you know what I forgot and I made the last video so let's do it together how's that sound so first we're gonna go over here we're gonna open Google I'll put a link in the description for you but just so you see how I do things I'm gonna go huh I'm a dummy I go to github this is the actual release page for the visual pinball product you can see here visual pinball x 10.8 beta 5 go ahead and click in there and you'll see many different options here essentially you've got gl 64 and 32 bit release and debug and then you have a regular 64 and 32 bit release and debug release is what we're going to go for here if you watched my last upgrade video you're already upgraded to 64 bit bpx and you probably have the pinup player 64 bit update so today i'm just going to download the regular release 64 bit so i'm just going to click on the zip let that download via google just for informational purposes if you're having issues you can install the debug and it'll give you some additional log files and stuff but most users won't need that and gl is for the vr version so if you're looking for vr which i do not use but perhaps someday i'll be able to make a video for you you can get the the gl version so now that we have the files let's go ahead and open our file explorer and let's go to our downloads and we'll see that right here um good practice whenever you download a file i use 7-zip so i don't have to do this because 7-zip natively unblocks files but i can tell you this is a number one mistake a lot of people make right click the file hit unblock right here in the lower right and then apply it or okay because by default windows will block some of those dll files in there um, but again i use 7-zip free program um, so that i don't deal with that but if you're gonna do it like I'm doing it in the video, I won't be using 7-Zip. I'll just show you what I'm gonna do. So make sure you unblock the file. And I tried this a few different ways. This is probably the most foolproof, but your results may vary and you should always back up your folders before you do any of this. I am not responsible for your installation, but I am here to help. So leave us some note in the comments if this helps you if you like the work we do and if you don't like what I do uh, keep that to yourself but if you need help let me know we're there to help you so I'm just gonna copy all the files except the tables folder I'm gonna keep it really easy for you um, now I'm gonna go into where my visual pinball for hopefully for you it's on your cab or desktop wherever you have it it's in the root under V pinball for me it's there and then I have visual pinball and I can just paste this in. It's gonna say, do you wanna replace these files? I'm gonna say yes. Now, if you followed my previous installation, you'll have, you know, a 32-bit executable. I have uh, Visual Pinball 107.2.exe. This is my 32-bit installation. You can see that here when I go help and about. It is 32-bit visual pinball. This is 10.71 actually. But, you know, just to show you everything's working right, I can pop open a, a table that doesn't require a newer version. Of course, I picked something with that was created in 10.8, but this one I know should play okay. There we go. Crawl. From Rascal. Looking good, lights look good. It's using all the old lighting DLLs. Things look good here. Uh, except for the guy playing. He's, he's not very good. All right, I'm gonna close that up, x64.exe. So now I'm gonna open up that one. I'm gonna go to file and, uh, I'm sorry, help and about. Hey, look at that. 
I am running 10.8 beta, uh, revision 1347, 64-bit. All right. Now, there's one table right now that requires this. So we're going to go in there. Johnny Mnemonic from VPN Workshop. This one likes 10.8, and there's a reason for that. You're about to see why. It's got some particularly awesome new lighting effects and bloom features and all sorts of stuff. This also requires VPN MAME 3.6, but if you used my 64-bit upgrade guide, you will also already have VPN MAME. I have to do some adjustment here to my uh, external DMD, but as you can see, everything is working here. Look at the light effects here. That's it, it's it's pretty easy. It's not a, the file I had you download from GitHub is pretty much a minimal installer. It gives you the files you need and doesn't give you all the other fluff that might overwrite your system. So I feel pretty good recommending that you just grab the files as is. Don't copy over the table folder. And then from there, uh, should be good to go. And you can keep your 32-bit install I don't see any reason to install 32-bit VPX 10.8 at all. Anything that uses 32-bit for some reason, like for me, Ghostbusters, um, I'll just run that in 10.7 too. At least until the time comes that there's some reason I need to change that. Um, that's it. You, you can play with the new software from there, but... Uh, you're all upgraded. Congratulations. It was hard, wasn't it? But you did it. And gosh darn it, people like you because you're special and you contribute to this hobby. I appreciate you. You should come back sometime because we put a lot of work into promoting this hobby and uh, we think more people should come and enjoy it. Pinball for all. Thanks for joining me. I've been Marty, a.k.a. Schmog. And, uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next go-round. Hopefully, there won't be too many, but there's always upgrades in this hobby, and I'll do my best to be here for you as they come out. Have a good day.